DNA evidence and some UC students helped free a man wrongly accused of rape 18 years ago, and now he's fighting to make sure others get a chance to also clear their name. News 5's Eric Flack is live with our number three pick tonight. Eric? Sandra, after fighting for almost two decades to clear his name, today Robert McClendon started his fight to change the system. They just didn't believe. Eight days ago, Robert McClendon walked out of a Columbus jail after almost 18 years behind bars. Serving a possible life sentence for the kidnap and rape of a 10-year-old girl, DNA testing now shows McClendon didn't do it. The first night I stayed at home, I got up at about 4.30 in the morning and just walked outside and just turned around in circles and just looked up at the sky. It was a moment McClendon feared he would never see. From day one, he professed his innocence, even turning down chances at freedom because of what the parole board wanted in return. They said, well, you can get out early release, Mr. McClendon, if you agree to a comprehensive sexual offenders program. You have to admit guilt. And uh, I couldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Three times McClendon's petitions for DNA testing were rejected. But in 2006, lawyers from the Ohio Innocence Project in Cincinnati took up his case and got the DNA testing he wanted. It showed fluid found on the victim's clothes wasn't his. To have the ability to revisit that. Today, McClendon testified in front of a state Senate committee considering a law that would make DNA testing more accessible to inmates. There's people in prison that are locked up for crimes they didn't do. I know that because I was there. And uh, somebody has to speak for him, and who better to speak for him than me? A man who missed his children growing up, his parents passing away, and now can only try to make up for lost time. The Ohio Innocence Project here at UC has asked that same DNA testing facility that cleared McClendon to review evidence in about 30 other cases, believing McClendon will not be the last to be exonerated. Reporting live from UC, Eric Flack, News 5.